Okay, so you don't want to use the sales page. You want to use a squeeze page. Oh, that's all. Okay, we can leave all this stuff here. And before I make any changes, I'll just refresh it. And now it's a squeeze page. Come down here to the squeeze page template, and there's some more things you can do. You can add a background image. Um, I'm going to show you, give you a link. You can download these fading backgrounds. They just fade to white, so leave your background color as white, and just use these. And we'll want to repeat them X, which is across. Repeat Y is down. No repeat is if you have one huge big image. And repeat will repeat both across and down. We want across. Um, we can put in a header image. And this will automatically resize the image to 770 for this squeeze squeeze page if it's larger if it's smaller only 750 it will not resize it this image is actually 2020 by 220 and it's been resized to fit in here it's 770 by 840 there's the background image fades to white you can put whatever image you want in there whatever header you want in there just make sure it's larger than 770 and it'll resize it down, but not up. Uh, so let's make it a column squeeze now and see what happens. Excuse me. Okay, you notice there's our headline. There's no more image because we didn't put one in this template yet. The opt-in form automatically went to the top of the right column and this arrow went in to highlight your form, get your customers, your visitors to sign up. Everything else pretty much the same. column squeeze and I'm going to use a different background image um, yeah, let's go with that one repeat across header image I'm going to put in the same one and this here is your right column text Put the header image. Now you notice it's right resized to 920. So as long as it's larger than 920, it'll resize down. Your frame, your form, of course, and your right column text. Now you can put HTML into this box here. Um, I'm not sure what this has in it. Okay, I'm going to take this and cut it. and paste it right in here and put the image right in there so you put HTML in there 
Um, one thing I warned you about on the non-plug-in version of this, I didn't want you using the visual. You can go ahead and use it with the plug-in. Uh, makes it easier to style stuff. Added italics, added a bold. Your level one, two, three, four, five, and six headings, unordered list, it's images, an ordered list, numbered, and the box. Um, and in a later video, I'll show you how you can customize this, get rid of the arrow if you want. Um, how to do more, <coughs> excuse me, how to do more with the visual editor rather than using the headlines. Well, in fact, I'll show you that right now real quick. Let's take these out of here. Um, <coughs> you notice this is the column. If I don't use the headline, the subheadline field here, here and here, then this headline is going to jump down into here into the left column. Um, it was just a design thing. I'll just delete those. This edge is a little bit more with the heading one. Make this a heading two, which it is. Okay. Save draft. And I change templates. Okay, your headlines just jump down here. Um, you lost the color because you can color it yourself. And we'll just do that real quick. Make that red. Um, make that red. Make that red. I don't like that color. Let's go maroon. Now you got multicolored. If you're using the squeeze page or the sales page, they're going to show up at the top just like normal. But it just gives you a little more versatility. If you want to get rid of an image, Just click on no image. And that'll get rid of your header or your background or both if you uncheck them both. And that's it. If you're watching this on one of the video sites like YouTube or something, there is a link probably to the right of this video that you can click on, go to the website and get your plug in. If you're on WPSqueezePage.com, um, there's a button somewhere to grab your plugin. So thanks for watching and go download your club your plugin right now.